Choose your character. guys what's going on welcome back today I'm actually gonna show you how to do something real cool so right now we have a few scoops that you can pick this up at throttle.com you go to the link description below these are scoops that we bought for the rear quarter panel of the STI as well as the front bumper and as you can see one is black the other one is white but I did pick up some paint that we are gonna match the paint on the car with rattle cans by just spending uh, maybe a hundred bucks worth of stuff instead of spending three four hundred five hundred dollars you'll be able to do it with the fraction of the cost and in your own home you'll be able to install it right after it's done drying Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. One thing I love about Raid is that when I'm sitting somewhere with time to kill, I can always just pull my phone out of my pocket and play a level or two, acquire different awesome looking heroes, and best of all, the gameplay is fast and fun and the graphics are second to none. Raid Shadow Legends is available not only on your mobile device, but also on a PC. And last month, Raid just released their biggest ever update, the Doom Tower with over 120 floors. I've been waiting for this update for a while now, so I'm gonna give you a little secret if you wanna get a huge head start in Raid. All you have to do is hit the link in the description, and if you're a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion, Bulwark. 50 gems, an XP booster, and even some energy refills. You'll even get an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in the game. I'm totally digging the gold drip on this new champion. And if you guys wanna give it a whirl and join my clan, you can find me on the game at throttle Mickey. So I'm going to end this here and go play some Raid Shadow Legends. Corners right now. What he's trying to say, because you guys can't hear him, is that he's trying to cover all the little corners, the gray areas, uh, from the primer, just to get a good blue coverage without going full thick coat. Now that our plastic pieces are painted, me and Mickey just finished installing some 3M tape in this beautiful rear window spoiler. Is that what it is? Yeah, what do you call this? It's basically a rear top window spoiler, I guess. I mean, it's more of a cosmetic thing. We'll keep a little bit of sunlight from beating down on the back of your heads if you're sitting in the back seat, I guess, but it's for looks. Um, I like it, me and him place it on top of the rear window right now and it looks freaking epic, I really like it. Now this spoiler is available through Throttle, we do sell this product, the product line is called OLM and it's a really nice piece, I mean it literally shows up to your doorstep ready to put on the car, all you have to do is apply the two-sided tape and stick it on. Um, so that's what Ricky and I are going to do. Let's flip it, let's show them what it looks like. We applied some fender tape on here just so that it didn't get scratched up while we were applying the uh, two-sided tape on the back. So we can stick it on now and uh, know that it's not going to have any scratches on the top surfaces.
All right, that's a nice look. We'll get a wipe down and get the fingerprints off of it. It's a nice complimentary look, I think, to the back of the car. Just gives it that nice little, little pull on the back. Yeah, gangster. So this piece, we actually uh, came on the car. We're actually gonna be removing this because we've got a different panel coming for it, but we're gonna leave it on for now. A little vortex generator, I think they call it. Pretty cool looking part, but uh, we're gonna be upgrading that with a little nicer piece. Uh, it'll stay on for the time being, and we'll change it out later on down the road. picked up these window vent visors. These are also from Outside Line Motoring and available on throttle.com. These are a four piece kit. They also install with this fancy 3M tape and these will allow you to kind of run with the window cracked if it's raining outside so your windows don't fog up or just get some fresh air without actually having the window down. So right now Mickey is attempting to install the pairing strut bar that goes in this vehicle and it's meant to be used with the stock intercooler thingy. Oh, we got thingy. this beefy boy up here. We got this Missy, Mitsubishi. Mishi, Mishimoto. We got this Michimoto intercooler. This guy. The Michimoto there intercooler. No, there is no CH in Michimoto. <laughs> you don't know that. Michimoto. Ah, uh, so we're hoping that it's gonna clear the intercooler. I don't think, I think it's gonna hit. I think it's gonna clear, so we'll see. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. All right, so. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby, we can do it. Keep going, keep going. Send it, send it. We ain't taking these out. Come on. I'm in. Come on, baby. Woo! It's in. Oh my God, it's in. Full set. You don't understand. You don't understand what we had to do. If that thing didn't fit through there, there would have been a lot of pissed off people around here. Because this whole thing would have to come out again. And it's not you that see easy. See that slick fitment there, Victor? You don't know anything about sous vide, obviously. No, I Okay, so what I've done is opened up the factory taillights and I modified everything on the inside. But there's one thing that I did that I've never done before, which is I frosted the inside of the little C lens that's on the taillight. Now on one side, I didn't do that. So we have a very clear see-through little C light section. You could see the individual LEDs in there. But then on the other side, I put that in a media blasting cabinet. I hit the back side of that little C bar and now it diffuses the light because it's not so see-through. So it spreads the light differently. What we don't know is what's actually going to be decided on, what we're going to keep. Dude, Subi day. Subi gang. Happy birthday. Thanks dude, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Has this car been on throttle before? No. Oh snap. Oh, wow. Slice the lights open, stuff the cool stuff in there, seal them back up, and then it's like a one day turnaround as opposed to waiting forever for all the process to go down. So something I recommend if anybody's modifying their own lights or they wanna do this for customers is have a set that you can use all the internal parts for. So these are not the original throttle taillights. These were not the ones that came with the car. It's a set that I had. They actually came off Dustin's car years ago and I've had them sitting on a shelf. I cut them open, I modified all the inside pieces, and now that I have the brand new tails that came with the car, I could just slice them open, swap in all this cool stuff, seal them up, and the job is done. There's no waiting for a painter or to wire or do anything custom. It's all done in one day. Dennis is an OG here, so, so this is even before my time. 
but we're gonna see if we can find a signature on the on the old school throttle skateboard. I should have signed it right around here. Oh, right here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. It's been here forever. Dude, another Subaru. Oh, I hear a Subaru. Oh, it's Lonnie. I'm going over to visit the old Dutt and yeah, ran on my way out. I saw you blast by here What's going on, dude? earlier. Yeah. Oh, that shift knob though. Oh yeah, you had these wheels on these, your car. Yeah, I miss them, like I wanna go back. They're so good. It was just so hard to keep clean because there's so many spokes. Like it doesn't transfer how clean and like dope this thing is like on videos and cameras. Ooh. You guys get this nice. This is a must. I'll show you one more cool thing. Dude, look at, look at the exhaust. Oh, I saw that. Oh, Tom did that, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So unfortunately, this is the end of the video. So I'm gonna go over everything that we did in the last couple of days. And to start off, let's just look at the strap bar that we got from Pairing. That was installed. And we were lucky enough that we didn't have to take the inner coil or everything out of here to install it. So of course, the uh, scoops, the bumper scoops that we finished. And the color actually matched extremely well. So I'm super surprised how well it looks. And it looks like a factory uh, paint. So. Out of, out of a rattle can, saved me, saved us a bunch of money, but in time too. We did the vent visors, that was done. I just put a big old fingerprint on it, no big deal. Uh, we did the rear window, what is it, spoiler? Rear window spoiler. Uh, paint match as well, we did the side, uh, I don't know, a wing, on the side of a wing. <laughs> spoiler, we got this little extension for the uh, spoiler in the back. Uh, don't forget to show the rear scoop, man. The rear bumper. Whoop, whoop. That's done. Oh, the tail lights. Our buddy Chris from Flower Ride came down and showed us the, the black tail light that is going to be uh, on this vehicle. He took him back because he bought two different types and we chose one and I spring them together. So he should be here very shortly so we can, and we're going to show you how to install those. 
and the pattern that he showed me. Don't forget guys, every dollar you spend on throttle.com gets you one entry to win this beautiful car. See you on the next one, guys. Are you quit moving the part around, dude? I'm having a hard time here. Oh, dude. <laughs> I have one job. <laughs> I can't get up. Every time you move it, it's off camera. Is it? No, it's like top, Am bottom. I like really moving you like top, lot? bottom. Oh, okay. It's okay. Right. You have to do it. It's easier for you to do what you gotta do and I can move the camera. Keep up, Mickey. I'm working on it. I'm new to this whole filming. TJ's is on the dash. Oh my god! <laughs> You got ben, you got Ben's like that, Teach. Oh, it's custom spec, dog. <laughs> what? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> A little choo choo right here, baby. So my wife was making fun of me yesterday. We went to Racing Canes, and I told her to Google it because we were trying to find one. And she's like, she she literally typed in race, like racing, like car racing. <laughs> And I was like, I said racing king. She's like, say racing. And I said racing. She's like, no, say racing. And I was like, racing. She's like, it literally sounds the same when you say it. And I was like, well, yeah, that's how it is. It's the same when you say it. But she said, no, that is not. And then she said it differently because she was trying to trick me. But I know I'm right. Racing and racing is the same thing. But there's a different thing. They just sound the same, but they're not the same. You ride them differently. This segment brought to you by Raising Cane, yeah, the it's best chicken east of the Mississippi. So good. So good. Not West because we got Chick-fil-A out here. Ch no, do not compare Chick-fil-A with Raising Cane's. Bro. No. Oh, Chick-fil-A is not better than... Let's take, let's take a vote. Yeah. Have you guys ever ate at Raising Cane's? Chick-fil-A. I'll take it. Honestly, you're, you're, honestly, I take Popeye's over yeah, I was about to say, Popeye's is my number one. Uh, no, no. Race, Racing Canes is number one. Popeye's is number two. Chick-fil-A is number three. I mean, TJ and Sabrina got me all hyped on Raising Canes. It's talk, good. We talk so much about how great it is. That was the problem. You and, can't hype it up. I was disappointed. You can't hype because see, they hyped it up. The bone, it more yeah, than like tenders, but the tenders at Raising Canes are better than the tenders at Popeye's. Oh yeah, for sure, 100%. Oh, no, yeah. Popeyes makes the best tender. No, you're wrong. You're wrong, Thanks, bro. Son. And the sauce at, at Raising Cane? Woo! Maybe, maybe untouchable. That, maybe that should have been. Yeah. Hydrated. Yeah. Maybe that should have been fluorescent. I told you. Nobody listens to me. But then again, I didn't know that. Gee, stupid camera. Focus. Look, it's not. Nope. I'm done. That's why I need to get the verdict from you guys because yeah, that's just me. I wanted to bring those by specifically because if I do that, there's no going back. Right, right, but right. But right, the right. parts that are inside of the factory tail lights can totally be swapped out. So if I get the verdict, if you want them that way, I need to know today so that I don't go home and blast the other side. I mean, it doesn't matter. I have well, I have two sets. So the I, way it works around here, there's ten volts, and then there's one more volt. And then <laughs> the one is the, the one only volt one. is the one that counts, which is not mine. <laughs> yeah. But I like the left one. You guys know the vote, right? You guys know. You guys know who that guy is, right? It's my vote. <laughs> Ricky, I can just you can just run to CVS and get Preparation H for your butt instead of having that pad. You know. <laughs> can you smell it? No, not yet. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I smell your farts all day long. You better smell mine. You're gonna ruin my mojo. Wow. Nice. Oh wait, wait, Mr. Spot. Yes. You, you got. You have to commit, bro. If you don't commit, nothing comes out right. Commit it. Spot. Where? <laughs> commit, baby, commit. Just a little bit to the this, step this way. There you go. Right there. <laughs> yeah, a little. I think like more in the shoulders, okay. less in the hips. I kind of <laughs> like the hips though, dude. The hips are Look at this dude. <laughs> Let's do like a solid five seconds. No, no, no. Three, two, one, action. <laughs>